We're all good to go. There's a significant lag between when I hit this button and it actually starts. It's starting right now. So now I, don't I will believe you. scramble I don't believe you. over here and hit this button. And we'll just play this audio like we always do. And I'll just talk over and ruin it. We live? We live. <laughs> we live. <laughs> okay. We live. All right, it's the Drafters Live on the old YouTube channel. Yes, we've dusted it off, and uh, we would like you to stick around for longer than just this episode. So if you could do that, just hit subscribe. And some people ask for, for, for you to hit the bell. You know, the bell's pretty cool. If we go live and you don't know about it, you'll hear about it. It's it's YouTube. If you haven't heard it by now, then I don't even know if we really want you around, to be completely honest. It's me to YouTube. Anyway, it's the Drafters <laughs> Live, episode 10. And you've seen all these schmucks before. You see their name right now. We got Nikki, we have Reggie, we have Vince, we have myself, who is traditionally Justin. And I guess I am, am on this one as well, but we actually have another Justin on, and his name is Justin Mages, here for the first time to Woo! draft alongside with us. And uh, he actually picked Go. he actually picked bam, one of these bam, bam. he picked one of these topics we're doing today. Uh I'm pretty it's actually the one we're doing last because it's gonna get heated. And uh, you're seeing the draft order right now um, as it plays out. For the first and third draft, which is going to be the first first draft will be Gatorade flavors. It's going to be Nikki, myself, Vince, Reggie, and then Mages at the end. But for the second round, which is magazines, all-time magazines, uh, we're going to flip that. Mages will go first. Nikki will get the last pick. And I'm sure the dirty ones will still be there for him. hey <laughs> Taking them first, you feel me? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. They might go first. I don't know. Uh, but no, we appreciate you guys hanging out. Obviously, uh, you know we we flip flop back and forth between Facebook and YouTube. But to be uh, to be frank, Facebook's a little sketch right now. We're gonna try to distance for just for right now. We're gonna social distance from Facebook this week. We're doing a special here on YouTube. Uh, anyway, uh, for some reason, we're all wearing uh, basketball jerseys, um, and I guess that reason would be if you've seen the topics. <laughs> Look at everybody just yeah out here. As you can see, uh, I may or may not be a Celtics fan. Um, but Gatorade flavors to start off, magazines at number two spot, and then we're flipping back, and we're doing basketball movies, which, the, I, looking them up, there's some gems, and I picked five that I know for sure, like the top five, I'm just happy that I made it. I'm going to get one, and I'm pretty sure one or two of you guys are going to slip up. I'm going to wind up making a nice swat. Yeah. yeah. This is how it works. Reggie usually picks something dumb. And then, I, I've never done that. What do you mean? Never. No. Nope. Please see oh. lemon pepper dry rub wing <laughs> flavors. You tell me you want to eat First, a lemon pepper dry rub wing right now if it's in your face. I would. No. I would. I would. Exactly. But, no, no, I would eat it. But if I if I had a, the first choice of every wing flavor ever in front of me, I can tell you. Uh, honestly, I would not walk anywhere near the lemon pepper dry rub. Well, then you're wrong. That's okay. You can be wrong. It's I just okay. don't want my mouth to be that dry. Right. <laughs> no. I want no, sauce. Listen, if you get if you get a moist. A real mm. moist chicken. Good word choice, by the way. Right. You really, you actually, like, the the sauce is too much. You want a dry rub, depending on the quality of the chicken. What the if higher you... quality chicken, the drier rub. I've never want. been down that road, but I understand your passion. The I... moist after the chicken. What the if you had a moist, <laughs> succulent, supple piece of chicken mm -hmm. that just happened to be slathered in a good, you know, a buffalo sauce? Who knows? It's too, it's too much. Too much, much wetness. It's, it's too much too wetness. Too much wetness. Uh, you never have too much wetness. Wetter okay. the better. Oh, okay. yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, That's a life last motto. Week's, speaking of last <laughs> week, uh, we obviously did the wing flavors draft, but we'll get to that in a second. We started off with U.S. cities. Um, obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on in U.S. cities right now. Mm. Uh, it was just kind of coincidentally, we drafted the cities, and then you know, obviously, there's a lot of protests going on, and obviously for good reason. Please, people, educate yourself. Back, huh? Please, before you comment on anything. Educate yourself about what's happening. I want, I want uh, to see all the YouTube comments. That's what <laughs> yes. I'm here for. I want well, to do it right now. Uh, you, I think Lynch and Blake are in here. They're chatting it up right now in the chat section. But real quick, I got to say this. U.S. cities, I won in your guys' face. And by specific, by your guys', I mean, Reggie, you were on last week. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't there. I believe yeah, Reggie I picked <laughs> Brecken, Brecken, Breckenridge. What is that? Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Colorado. Learned about that for the first time last week. But. Uh, I wound up winning that one. And in wing flavors, Reggie, you had first pick and you squandered it. You lost. You just... I disagree. No, but you did. The people have voted and JJ <laughs> has won. <laughs> you, you can't, you, the numbers don't lie. Uh, it was a medium buffalo, 
Uh, garlic Parmesan and mango habanero, which I've never had. I've never had it either. And medium buffalo is most, it's what good, it? but it's just, I mean, I don't want mild what? buffalo and I don't want hot buffalo. No, just a regular, regular wing. Regular that, wing. The, it's the chicken wing. I don't know. What do you mean? It's OG. Yeah, it's, it's straight up original. Like, he's like, I want Thanksgiving roasted. Buffalo. I'm a little more exotic. <laughs> a little exotic. Lemon pepper is exotic. No one wants dry rub. Pring- <laughs> no one wants Pringle flavored wings, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, and then the last, Pringles? the last draft yes. <laughs> from last week, episode nine. We did comedians. Um, I had a pretty good, okay. Hold on, Lynch in the chat right here. Everyone wants the idea of habanero until their mouth is on fire. <laughs> yes, facts. He ain't wrong. He ain't uh-huh. wrong. Uh, Brian Hayes in the chat says, "My mom said that uh, Justin Mages is her favorite on this live." Ooh. Wow! Ooh. Like I heard this inside like, joke there. I'd love to be a part of like one of those. Matt someday. Stafford, I heard, looks like an NFL quarterback. <laughs> I, he might mm. be. He mm. might be. Uh, anyway, mm-hmm. wrap it up. Last week's, we got to get out of last week's. Comedians, you can check it out on our on our Facebook page, on our Instagram at the Chunk Pod. See who we picked. JJ wound up winning. He had a, he he picked Dave Chappelle first pick. How can you be mad? Hey, I mean, yeah, well, can't lose. You can't lose. Uh, you can't. You can't, you can't lose, lose. To Dave Chappelle. Anyway, we can now. Focus on what's it's the here and now. What's going on? Gatorade flavors. Nikki. Oh, uh, Brian says it's not an inside joke, just a big JM Slam fan. Okay. Hey, all right. like that. It's good branding. I get it. That's good nice. See, I like I like this kid. No, he's I all right. Not. Hey, Brian, I you stick not. around there, buddy. Uh, okay. <laughs> Gatorade flavors is gonna lead it off. Uh, Nikki, you're up first with the pick, and just please don't ruin it. I mean, I got like a toss up between two of my favorites, and I just got to pick one because the other's not going to be there. You're not going to get both. I know, but uh, I feel like the one if I had a choice between all the Gatorades right in front of me, I always go for Cool Blue first. Cool Blue, basically. Cool blue. Blue. Now, see, that's the that's the slightly darker shade of blue, or more electric blue than the lighter blue. Yeah. So what is what is the light blue called? I don't even know. Uh, that like one the, is art. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Because oh, some yeah, 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 something we, else. we can't say. The it's dark blue. That's what I want. Dark blue. Dark blue is good. Dark blue is okay. good. Okay. All right. All right. So, wait, so, so is that what we're going to know? We're not even going to know for the name where it's going to no, call it's it the cool color. Bl- it's cool no. blue. We're not going to identify it by the color. I would have hoped you would pick it. If you're going to pick, you should know the name. Do your research. I did. And then everybody started trying to question me. No, I said don't say the light blue one because it could be on someone else's list. I don't want that one. I don't want it. So pick yours. If he I did. messed it's up, cool blue. I, I, I picked cool blue. I thought I picked the right one. He you said cool something blue. different. Okay. Cool blue it is. That being said. See now I, I see now I'm, I'm all I'm all messed up. I know I know it's gonna wind up leaving, so I'm just gonna let that one sail. All right, it's gonna go. I gotta get a classic. I gotta get a classic. And don't, it, don't say don't orange. What I think you're gonna do this. Say don't. orange. What do you mean? Why don't we say what? Why would I say that? No, whatever. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Do your thing. Whatever. It's a toss up. It really is a toss up, and they're both citrusy. Uh, I knew. I knew it. Either one. I mean, look. Basic. What do you mean? But I'm gonna pick the wrong one because, to me personally, I have an att- oh, You know what? F it. I'm hitting orange. I'm gonna pick an orange. <laughs> he done did it. Okay. Well, I like mm-hmm. orange, but but the thing is, I I don't have to talk about it right now because somebody else is gonna pick it here pretty soon. But it's really Royal, a toss up. Royal's pandering to the likes. He wants to win. No, I'm not. He wants to nope. win. Oh my god. All right. Orange. Well, let them live. Vince, Let them live. you're up, man. You're up. <clears throat> so we're going another OG colorway, and we're going <laughs> to have to go with <laughs> <You're getting laughs> sneakers out here. We're, talk, we're talking sneakers, but um, we used to always have this at basketball camp, and it was the lemon lime. Ooh, lemon uh, lime. Lemon. Vince, I'm no. disappointed. I'm disappointed in that. Hey, you know, wait, what it is. wait, you don't like that one, Nikki? I, that's the one I always hated the most. Oh my yeah, God. I'm not going to lie. That's one of the worst. I disagree. I, w- I was going to pick lemon lime. I mean, I, I it's it's that or That's orange. I was afraid you were going to pick, but you picked orange and redeemed yourself a little bit. But then Vince disappointed me right here. So, okay. Oh, well, hey, better, man. better like, him than I, like, you know. Like when you're doing a sport, I feel like that's the one that dehydrates me the fastest. I first why. I cramp up as soon as I'm done with that one. <laughs> I never liked it. <laughs> I'm okay. speechless. I mean, it is what it is. I I don't know. All right, David in the chat says he can't stay long. He's celebrating 10 year anniversary. Have a good Respect. show. Ah, congrats, David. Happy. 10 hey, years hey, David. to David. 2010, huh? Wow. Well, he didn't get married yeah. back then. That was that was a 10-year meetiversary, I would imagine, right? He hasn't been married for 10 years. Yeah. Okay. Just I just want to clear that up. Possible. It would have been, been like high school. He could have got married at courthouse wedding. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, okay. Reggie, you're up. Cool blue, orange, and lemon lime. 
they're off the let board. Let them, let them I'm going to go a little exotic, but this is a great mm, flavor. Here we go. <laughs> Especially oh, like, this is great. Like right after a workout, you're parched. And you're like, oh, what's that new flavor? Lime cucumber. Uh-huh. Why does everyone like that? That's Fire. Not- you just lost this entire thing. You might <laughs> not take any other picks. Hot that lime cucumber, son? Cucumber, Mike? Oh, my God. Have you had it? A- I have, have had, had it. it. I have had, had it. Anything flavored cucumber is, for the most part, is disgusting. Have you had lime cucumber, Nikki? No. You right, have, wait, you haven't yeah, tried see. it, though? You should try no. it. It is a... I hate the taste. Lynch I don't like the taste lost. of cucumber. It's the worst. I don't like the taste of cucumber. Number one, <laughs> then you're gonna add the just the the harsh attacking bitterness of lime right, right in your throat. The worst part Good. about it. No, the worst part about it is, like, I like cucumbers. I'll eat cucumbers all day. Hell I yeah. like pickles, but I don't like fake <laughs> cucumber flavors. Like, the, like no. you can't fake a cucumber flavor. You either have a cucumber in your Gatorade. It's or, overpowered. Yeah, you don't know you don't know hydration until you've had lime cucumber. Oh, oh hey, that, Brian, that is Brian the most the ch- bougie flavor. <laughs> Brian in the chat says uh, Justin Major has yet to say a word. Get in there, man. Say some words. It's your pick right now. You have, <laughs> and by the way, you um, have back to back. It's a snake draft, and your uh, lime cucumbers off the board. So you have back to back picks right now. All mm. right. So with my uh, first pick of this draft, um, I'm honestly surprised none of you have picked this. Um, mm. through the long days of the YMCA, I'm gonna have to go with Glacier Freeze. Glacier Freeze. That's it. They, it got teased. It got teased Respect. a little bit. That's the one Nikki was talking about. Was that one That's of like pick. two flavors in that Gatorade machine? Because there was like literally yeah. never any variety <laughs> yeah. in that damn machine. <laughs> that uh, is true. Yeah. Okay. It was that. Yeah, pretty much. That's a solid pick. That's a solid pick. So you have one more on the way back. Okay. All right. Uh, I will go with. This is tough, but I'm gonna have to go with fruit punch. Dang! Oh, you got the classic. Oh, that's, oh, that's, I was hoping it was gonna be there. Punch. I'm so salty. Those are by far the best. Yeah. <laughs> Brian in the chat says, "Okay, stop talking. Audio quality on zero. My ears hurt." Okay. Yes. <laughs> Listen, it's his first time in here. All right, let him have you know what he's got. He got me two great picks, and uh, luckily he doesn't have to talk for another few picks. We're good. But no, you can obviously comment if you have something to say. Uh, I'm sure Reggie's going to give you plenty of material. But Fruit Punch, a- again, I'll say something real quick, is always the flavor that I, I don't I don't pur- I purposely avoid it. It just, to me, is like the most basic flavor in everything. But when I drink Fruit Punch, I'm like, well, damn, this is good. Yeah, like, it never disappoints. Like, yeah. It never disappoints. Yeah, it's true. It's consistent. It leaves your tongue and your lips all red. Hey. Yeah. So? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it does. Oh, it's all right, all right. Reggie, you're up. Lime cucumber. You probably could have waited on that, but you're dressed. No, I needed, I needed it. Yeah, yeah, that would have been there on the last. <laughs> but I'm happy because my next one, the one I should have picked, probably still here. Okay. I'm gonna go with that dark, fierce purple. Dang, that's what I was next. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's... boy, we out here, fierce purple. Why didn't you just pick wait, that first? Give that wait, no, wait. So what's the flavor name, Reggie? It's... Since apparently I'm not allowed to just call the it's color. It's called fierce purple. It's fierce grape. Yeah. Isn't it grape? I thought it was fierce no. grape. It's fierce either way, grape. it's grape. It's mm, the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Fierce. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, you can't yeah. just say. Light. But there's more than one grape. It's fierce yeah, that's purple. What I'm yeah. All right. It's a dark purple. Okay. We out here. That's a solid pick. <laughs> dark purple. I'm okay mm-hmm. with that. I just I had to make sure that I got the the uh, lime cucumber before anyone else did. Yeah. No, I understand. Ooh. Listen, I have one that I I hold higher than any of them, but I felt like you know I could wait a little bit because I don't think any of you are gonna pick it, but it's okay. All right. By the way, Vince, you're up, and if you take it, I'll stab you. <laughs> uh, all right so i'm gonna go with like a new flavor um bless it's actually you friend. Called... thank you <laughs> all right <laughs> Nick, you got the rona no the rony Uh-oh. but uh <laughs> it's glacier cherry dang Ooh, that's, no! the, that's the white cherry ah i thought yeah. he was gonna let that slip that's solid yeah. that's is that that white one. gatorade yeah yeah that's fine it's like a whitish gray okay okay all right, so that's that leaves. I'm looking at this board here. I should probably just get my, no. Nikki was not gonna pick this. I don't All think I he's gonna pick it. Don't slip what? up. What is it? No, you know Ew. what? No, I'm I'm gonna pick it right now. It deserves to be better than last round. I'm going with it. And if you haven't had it, you're you're messing up. It, it to me, and I will I will preach it from the tops of any. I don't know. You get what I'm saying. I'm not even gonna finish that analogy. Melon is the best Gatorade flavor there ever was. What color is that? It literally looks exactly <laughs> like orange. It, on yeah. the shelves, you'll confuse it with orange. 
It's it's the best flavor there ever is. And mm-hmm. for some reason, they got rid of it. I can't find it anymore. Today, I looked it up. It's back at Walmart's. There's one blocks away. I'm going to go get it, and I'm going to chug the whole thing. Melon I don't is, think I've ever had it. Dude, if you yeah. haven't had it, find it. I'm telling you, it's so good. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's no, it's yeah. it's okay. So we're you not haven't sold. Had it, fine, that, you don't have to be <laughs> sold on it. I'm just telling you, do yourself a favor and try it. You I love even... the first question in this. What's up? <laughs> what color is it? Yes, <laughs> like immediately. It, it's the I thing. Like we know like, the colors more than names. It's really exactly. all that matters. Uh, okay, here we go, Nikki. You Nikki, pick cool blue. Your... Oh, yeah, what is eye. that? Huh? Are you looking at pornography? Green. Yes, your... clearly. Oh, okay. your glasses. Uh, Nikki, you have cool blue first, and you can now wrap up your Gatorade squad right now with your Whoopi Goldberg glasses. All right, let's see. I got the. <laughs> that's a, that's what I call it when you put it all the way down to the nose here. Call that the E40. Ugh, but whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, I got the uh, right here in my number two. I got the good old strawberry lemonade. Mm. That's a good flavor. Oh wow! I was gonna pick that. It's a little too new school for me, but okay. Is it? No, it tastes good. It's good. <laughs> it's kind of a hybrid in a way. But it is. It's strawberry lemonade? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, well, is that a problem? He's yeah, let's make sure you out. pick mine. Out. Uh, I got one more, though. I got I to gotta find the name of it again. I forgot. This is embarrassing for you um, as you're on the clock. Oh, shoot. I'm on the clock, ain't I? Yeah, that's what mm-hmm. happens when you pick, and then you pick again immediately. Oh, <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. Right, right, right. Uh, we're going to have the worst one. I was going to get the kiwi strawberry as well. Kiwi strawberry? Is that a thing? Yeah. 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 I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> all right. Oh, sorry about that's those. the piss water. Yeah, all right. <laughs> You're talking about the little soccer practice Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, Dang. no, that's all right. I, here's Everybody the deal. Did. I don't like to see through my Gatorade. I just, I just want it. You know what I mean? I don't like to see through it. Okay, you do you. <laughs> and let's be honest, that looks like urine. All right. I mean, a little bit less than the lemon lime, but hey, whatever, not bragging. Okay. Can you chill? <laughs> Coming right. out of my throat. I. There's a flavor that's just not on the shelves enough, and I don't want to pick another underdog because melon is already not mainstream mm. enough. But I'm going to take – it's not It's not Reggie's dark purple. It's mm. the soft purple, the pastel yep. sir, purple, oh. the Riptide oh. Rush. Oh, good old Riptide. That, that double R. I mean, I have that in a minute. It's solid. I it is. I don't see it enough. It makes me sad, but when I do see it, it goes in me and immediately out of me because that's how bodies work. Uh, all right, Vince, lemon lime, glacier cherry. Good luck picking with what's left. <laughs> oh, man, this is tough. You didn't got a list ready or what? <laughs> no, I do. I do. I do have a list. It's just um, they're all like equal for me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's how I was here. But well, I mean, aside from that one, but there's a significant drop off where it just kind of okay. is. Well, I know Nikki already picked something similar to this. Okay. But I'm gonna go this route. Um, the raspberry lemonade. There's and a raspberry lemonade. I, I don't even know about all this. Yes, sir. It's, it's amazing. It's yes, so sir. good. Damn. That's why I asked Nikki. You said strawberry lemonade. I'm like, oh, okay, you said strawberry. You messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's really slightly better in my opinion i need to expand my gatorade palette i didn't even know these existed these short run things i don't i don't i don't catch them i don't know what's going on making me sad no that's right all right, all right. reggie lime mm-hmm. cucumber fierce grape and what else i'm gonna go I'm with to say tap water at this point you lost <laughs> <laughs> take new york tap water i'm gonna go with um it's a very rare flavor, but it's like that that lighter purpley one. It's the frost rainberry. Oh, rainberry it's rain! Oh, yeah. remember those Gatorade rains? Yeah. So it's Gatorade worst? frost, rainberry. Look it's it up. like all it's the like similar to zero in a way. Maybe all like the Gatorade lighter. rains. May just knows what I'm talking about. May just knows what I'm talking about. That looks that oh, yeah. looks yeah. so yeah. close to Riptide for Rush. It it is, but it's better. Is it? Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like not as like sugary, I feel like. Yeah, it's like a lighter. Yeah. Like if you're like really want like water. See, that's the problem that's though. Good. Then go get water if you want water. What's <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm nah, saying. <laughs> you want, like, it's like a better water. 
Oh my god. Go get water. So Ross Rainberry, <laughs> something we out here. Rainberry. All right. Rainberry, oh, bro. I want to try it, but it just looks like a poor man's riptide. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, all right, mages, Glacier Freeze, Fruit Punch, and Brian in the chat says, I thought there were only four Gatorade flavors. Not wrong. Brian, Brian messed up. <laughs> all right, you got the last pick with what's left. Right. May God have mercy on your soul. All right, there's not much left, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to say Cascade Crash. I don't know if you guys remember that. I've never what? heard of Cascade Crash. That's a, isn't that like, like, a, isn't well, that like a, a phone game? <laughs> Not, like i would go to sam's club when i was younger and it was like um they had like three packs of like glacier freeze riptide rush and then it was cascade crash it's like a it's that like a blue and purple mixture okay i'm I seeing it making things up at this point but all right i know i'm just saying if anybody <laughs> could say anything at this point uh, no, that's nice. let me get vermilion <laughs> mm, yeah reggie just picks all the pokemon flavors I'd like to get the dandelion rush please oh, the lavender <laughs> I feel like lavender was. Well, I don't know. Okay. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think I think it was for um, zero. Okay, so Cascade Crush to wrap up. Cascade this. Crush. Wow, that's, that is that's a, a good deep. Name. That's a deep Gatorade cut. Uh, okay, real <laughs> quick, I'm gonna run through these. Nikki, you have Cool Blue, Strawberry Lemonade, Kiwi Strawberry. Kind of hanging uh, pretty heavy on the strawberries there. Uh, <laughs> I have Orange Melon. And Riptide Rush. And now that I'm thinking about it, when I make this graphic, orange and melon are going to be indistinguishable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally, yeah, yeah. It's literally the issue when I go to the store. Every time I think melon's there, it's just orange. Uh, all right, Vince, you have Lemon Lime, Glacier Cherry, and Raspberry Lemonade. Mm. Reggie, your first pick, for some reason, was Lime Cucumber. And then you got Fierce Grape and Rainberry. Mm -hmm. And then Mages has Glacier Freeze, Fruit Punch, and Cascade Crush. Cascade Crush. All right. That's listen. I, I honestly, That's such a dope I, name. when I looked these up, I didn't realize there were this many Gatorades, and now, and I didn't even have. I thought I put them all on my list, and apparently there were still like five more I didn't know existed. Uh, okay, shifting gears. Obviously, uh, when you'll be, we'll be able to vote on these right now, people in the chat can comment on what you think. Uh, right now, Jimmy says Reggie's killing me here. My least favorite flavors. Jimmy. Hey. I just read what you it said. Says. Cucumber, my guy. <laughs> Lime. <laughs> it's over. Lime <laughs> cucumber. <laughs> Okay, you the lime and the coconut, like, uh, and you mix it all around. Come all on. right, so at the Chunk Pod again, Facebook, Instagram, uh, on Twitter, you can uh, vote throughout the week when we post these graphics. So now we're gonna go into magazines. The order will sh will flip, and now Mages, your first off the line. Any magazine that has ever existed, whether it be clean or dirty, we I mean we're a family show here, Ooh. so let's try to keep it uh, PG thirteen. <laughs> I don't care. At least have some good articles in it. Uh, all right, Mages, you got the first pick in the draft. All right. Um, first, I don't know. It's kind of tough, to uh -oh. be honest. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to have to go with... Uh, what about the Slam? <laughs> what is it? Slam Magazine. Slam Magazine? Never heard of it. Uh, there it is. Huh. What huh. did they it, huh? specialize in? I don't, un I don't understand. Uh. Yeah, um, <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I would just go to... Like Vince said, if you go to Books a Million, I used to go there all the time, and I would just go in there, look at the magazine, the um, posters, and all that stuff, because I don't like the reading now. Right, but right. Respect. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I remember seeing a lot of good Sebastian Telfair articles in there. Uh, rest in right. peace, Sebastian like, Telfair's career. Next. Is, that the, uh, is that the next one that's like up next or something? Yeah, they, he had like the cover, I believe, that was like he was going to be like, for some reason, the next LeBron straight out of high school, but he was literally nowhere near the physique no. or skill ability to LeBron. Anyway, whatever. They just really wanted to find him. Anyway, he was one of my... That, that Through the Fire documentary, though. Man, so we watched it was, the shit out it of was, that. It was hey. fire. Through the That's Fire was solid. Uh, anyway, Slam Magazine, uh, I, I was it was one of the many magazines that I was subscribed to as a kid because for whatever reason, I'd get those... I, I would get those things in the mail where you'd get like five different magazines and Slam... I, I actually read it. It was friggin'... It was solid. But uh, anyway... This segment brought to you by Slam Magazine. Apparently. Send the checks and I'll just, we'll, <laughs> all right. Anyway. All right, Reggie. Uh -huh. You have the second pick in the draft. Slam Magazine is off the board predictably. <laughs> let's, how, let's see how you pivot here. What are you, you going to do? I'm going to go with one of my favorite magazines of all time, especially as a young adolescent boy. Oh, boy. Playboy. Damn, boy. <laughs> you really do it? I respect as it. I was going to do it. I was going to do it, too. Boy. <laughs> Jesus. Playboy. Not only were the solid nudes, but they game, had some good articles. Game in changer. Game changer. So, things like you that. can read, I can, some I'm, things you can learn. 
Okay. You know what I mean? All right. Hey, okay. centerfolds. It and separated like, the boys from like, the men. Let's be honest. Like semi pre internet <laughs> when he didn't have you know access to a lot of things. True, okay. true. There was, there was no smartphone in the hand. You had to go to the store, and you had to go there, and you had to go get to down. The and store? Dirty. You're telling me you actually, as an adolescent boy, went to the store and said, "I'll take one of your How? finest Playboys." How I acquired <laughs> it, I can't you know. talk about. You don't buy. You just go grab one and, and read it while you're in the store. What, what do you mean? It's what are you, you talking about? What store sold them? Didn't like, they have Playboys? You yeah. just tell me you went to Books a Million and just kicked your feet up and and what <laughs> threw a backpack on your lap and what read away? What did you do? <laughs> I don't understand. He did the old backpack. Don't trip. worry about me. don't worry about what I did. <laughs> yeah, look at Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy says I knew Reggie was going to choose that. Obviously for the articles, clearly. Okay. Yes. Well, that's off the hey, board. They were, let's be honest. They were nudes, but they were tasteful. Like, come on, let's be honest. Tasteful. They did it better than some of the hardcore oh, magazines. Tell me more about these magazines. What do you? What, we'll hear ones? later. Not my pick. Never mind. We'll hear later. We better not. <laughs> From Nikki. <laughs> All right, Vince, oh, you're me. up. One of the dirties is off the board. <laughs> One so, of them. Wow. So I'll definitely spin off of that and okay. go a totally different right. route. And uh, I'm definitely going to have to go with ESPN. Ooh, I've ESPN had it since I was a little magazine. kid, and it's just one of my favorite magazines this altogether. It still has the fleece, the obligatory fleece everybody got. That commercial ran 900 times when you were watching ESPN back when it was good. Uh, <laughs> it was like, ESPN the magazine, get your fleece now. And it's like somebody just mm-hmm. like. <laughs> I always wore that thing. <laughs> yeah, ESPN the magazine was lit. I'm not it, was good. it was good. Um, I, I actually was subscribed to that one too. But that was probably the most recent like magazine I was subscribed right. to before I just stopped caring. I guess we about get it. That. You're Do looking at the body anything? issue. Hey man, that thing came <laughs> in and I was like, yeah, this is my magazine parents. Like, <laughs> uh, anyway, it's my turn to pick and you, you picked a sports, uh, there's, there's two sports magazines off, but there's not the one to me that means the most. I'm picking Sports Illustrated. I knew it. I knew it. Classic. Sports Illustrated. Okay. It's, <sighs> it's yeah, awesome. It the post-championship covers, fantastic. Uh, yeah. I have, I believe, it might even be right here. Nope, it's not. I put it away. I have the Celtics 08 championship uh, Sports really? Illustrated. Yes. What are you talking about? It's awesome. It's good stuff. Obviously, there's a body issue for ESPN. Uh, Playboy has their legitimate pornography. And <laughs> there's a swimsuit edition of, of if you're into that, it's there for Sports Illustrated. So anyway, I'm swimsuit taking edition, I thought it was always whack. The swimsuits? Okay. Whack. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me, see the, let me see the real stuff. Playboy. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> this man's out here trying to get his sports reading, like just to read up on some good columns. And he's like, also, could you just throw me a bone here? Like I some mean, sort of bone? I could all up one book. All I right. get it. All right. Nikki, cool. you're up. You have back-to-back pick. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I don't even know. I'm intrigued. Well, I mean, I, I was I'm really, ho- I was really hoping for that uh, Sports Illustrated. I really wanted that be, that to be one. It's of good. Two. It's good. But uh, naturally, I mean, as a gamer, I mean, I love the Game Informer magazine. Oh, oh yes. Touche, touche. Solid pick. I too was a GameStop Pro member. I mean, I wasn't none of that. All right, I don't know. <laughs> they just sent it to my house. I still, I think I still get them though. I don't even know how or why. I'm not paying for them. I'm just getting them. And I, it's, yeah, that's yeah. true. I, I it just keeps coming. Of, I'm like, who's this? Who's of... paying for this? Yeah. No, that's good. That's a solid one. That and being... let's see, number two, I got to go with GQ magazine naturally because you know what I'm Ooh, saying. I'm a GQ, sensible individual. You, you do. You do look like a sensible young hipster man. Mm. It's got, it's He's got, got the be. glasses and the, and the okay, you're yeah, good. Naturally. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, you know how it is. I I do, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh let me go back to my list here because you picked some good ones. GQ was on my list. I wasn't gonna pick it though. It was at the bottom, but it was uh, on there. I, I got uh, it. I'm gonna go for a, a super throwback. I feel like this is gonna tickle a lot of people in the feels. Um mm. you know, your young young feels. Oh boy. Yes, and it's it provided me at least a lot of activities. You know, little. It's what? Kind of, I, I, where are we going? I don't know okay, where I'm, we're going with I'm this. Gonna, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Highlights, highlights for kids. The magazine. What I'm is doing that? it. You know what highlights <laughs> is? I've never heard of it. Whatever, man. It's probably what I what I read the most. Sorry, you weren't, a, you weren't a highlights kid, and then that's on you. I don't know what to tell you. Can you All explain right. to me what it is? It's I'm literally like it's like a magazine for kids that's literally like 
just game like I don't know. It's just like games is like word searches and freaking mazes and all this stuff. It's like there would be like so search and who'd not a coloring book. <laughs> I mean, I'm classier than a coloring book. There were activities that stimulated your brain, and there huh. was you could learn stuff. It anyway, it right. shaped Jeez. me. As, yeah, I look at Blake's, that. Blake's That's your top two pick. That's your top two pick. Blake's clearing it up. Those are in every doctor's <laughs> office. It's That's every unimpressed. doctor's office. That's fine. Listen, I'm not Good worried save. about it, all Good right? Save, Blake. When somebody sees the cover, though, they're going to recognize it, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I thumbed through that before I went into the dentist's office. But yes. Like that, mm. That's the problem. It's mm. not memorable. Like People got to go looking for it. That's why it's my list. Man, do, do you. It's my list. Yeah, I, Reggie, of all Man, people telling you. me to do me, <laughs> I, I, I respect it. Cucumber. I'm in, I'm in hey, here we go. Oh, Jimmy here. in the chat says highlights was the shit. Got that all the time. All right. There it is. I got one. It's all right. I'll I'll steal his vote right here. There you go, Vince. So go I'm, for it. I'm de- I'm definitely gonna go with men's health. Um, okay, all right. Okay. Since I'm an avid gym goer, I'd love to pick up those magazines and just learn that. new workouts. I do. Me too. That's good. So so now obviously I know where you stand on women's health, uh, but that's yeah. fine. No, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's just well, <laughs> me trying to slander his pick. No, it's a good pick. Obviously, it's a good magazine. All right, here we go. Reggie. You obviously have picked Playboy number one. Uh, I respect I'm curious, that. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah, I didn't curious get it. to huh. see if the theme continues. I, it only gets darker from here, though. It really does. <laughs> I'm going to go with what a lot of people think is a girl's magazine. But if you read it, oh, it's no. got a lot you know of oh, great you you. information. You it can help a lot of guys out during your growing periods. If you want to learn some stuff, Cosmopolitan. <laughs> Lego, Cosmo. He's, like, he's trying to get that lady vote. I see. Cosmo. Yes. I respect that. Cosmo Reggie is trying to be I, hitch, bro. Here's the deal. Like, I, I have it on good authority. Tell me I'm wrong. I have it on good authority that that magazine may, I don't know. It's it's not necessarily, it may have been back in the day, but it has turned into something. I haven't, I haven't read it in a long time. <laughs> Exposed. Saying, <laughs> like when you're like 13, 14, trying to learn some things about some things. Oh, okay. What? What? what the okay. Jimmy in the chat says, I get men's health every month and I have no idea who's paying for it. Like, it just, this is what happens. <laughs> yes. It's, the thing is, you're probably, we're probably still paying for these. We don't even know how. They're just siphoning it off of our bank account somehow. I don't know. But anyway, so you have Playboy and Cosmo. Look at you, you little slut. All right, Mages, you had Slam with the first pick. And now, and now you can pick two in a row. Right. Um, I'm going to go with uh, National Geographic. Oh, Ooh, damn. My next one. I really wanted that next, honestly. Damn. That's a solid yeah, one. Good. I got to. And then from the next one, I'm going to do Food Network. Food Network? Really? All Look right. at food this Network's guy. Magazine? Got Chef Mages in here. I love okay. me some food. Chef Mages with the pot, boy. Hey. Okay. So Reggie's back up. He can finish out his squad. Please get us through this swiftly and safely. Oh, I'm going to go with a magazine that I rarely ever read, but because it's kind of influential. And okay. uh, like the cover, the cover is honestly all you really need to okay. know about it. I'll just write it down now. Time Magazine. Okay. Time Magazine. I'm you so always kind of want to know, like, who's the person of the year, the Time Magazine person of the year. That's sometimes, all you really And sometimes you don't, but sometimes you do. And yeah, you get to see that. Luckily, you get to see it every time you check out in the grocery store. And maybe line. one day I'll be that person. Who knows? That's yeah. fine. It's all good, man. You guys, obviously, so, you, so. Have, you have a squad. I don't know how else to describe it. You got yourself a squad. All right, Vince, ESPN, men's health. Would you like to pander to that uh, women's audience? No, I just I just want to show it. Nah. I'm like I had this prop right here. Oh, like he that. was ready to do it. Like Who's that? Who's that? Who is that? Who is that? Jordan? Is that Jordan? We yeah, out here. Jordan. Time Who's magazine. Who's shell? Never lost. This is from what is it? 1998. Dang. Last dance. So I mean, dance. whatever. Let's You gotta you gotta give up time now, Reggie. It's over. You lost it. Well, hey, Doyle, when you post the um photo i want that photo as my time magazine picture yeah we'll see we'll huh. see i'll get I, I luckily i have full jurisdiction over that i will give you just the best 
<laughs> oh, he's gonna put Trump. Trump it won't be political at all. Uh, all right. So Vince, all right. you now have your pickup. Obviously, time was just stolen from you. Yeah, it's all right. So it's similar to GQ. Um, a lot of people pick it up, and I'm gonna have to go with Esquire. Ooh, okay. Esquire. Respect. Esquire. Yeah. Mm, okay. I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do declare. All right. All right. That's fair. I have, let's see. I do I, declare. I was going to, okay. I've already, I pretty much, well, I, apparently the way the reception I got here with from highlights is any indication of what the voting will do, which I don't think it is. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to do a Luxembourg pick right here. This is going to be a pangolin pick. I'm just going to go off the wall. And I don't know if you guys have seen this magazine, but I used to do, no. I used to go to the store at like Books a Million and I would I would specifically grab this magazine only to look at the cars that I knew I would never ever yeah. ever be able Been there. to get. Been there. I'm picking DuPont Registry. Yep. DuPont <sighs> Registry, I would get that, I'd thumb through it and I'd be like, damn it, I'll never own these cars, but they're fun to look at. That's then it. you go home and play Need for Speed Underground and right? just dream. Right. That's <laughs> it. So I'm picking DuPont Registry. I want to have that on my list because I I would I probably spent a lot i've spent more time than i'm proud of just looking at these cars and going through i would literally go through and i'd be like i'd play the pick one car on the page game where i'd be like oh, okay yeah. any car okay this one okay that that was a dork uh anyway dupont registry is my last pick and now nikki you have game informer gq and what else my final pick it's gonna be on you know the magazine that's centered around you know music film tv i gotta go with rolling stone Mm. That was mine. That was my pick if I didn't pick time. It's all entertainment. It's all, it's it was on my list, but highlights. Making the people I mean, happy. You know what just, what? Oh, no. Go ahead. Sorry. Keep No, no. I'm just up. saying. I'm just, no, no. The ahead. life I live, you know, I just got to make the people happy. It's what it is. It's all about entertainment. I do it for you and the fans. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Not wow. this. Obviously, Rolling Stone means a lot to you. I, I can see that now after that display. Uh, okay. Right. Magazines recap. Uh, Mage has got Slam, National Geographic, Food Network. That's a solid lineup. Reggie has Playboy, Cosmo, and Time. I just wanted to look, I, had, I had to look up and see Reggie's reaction to that. Uh, Vince, <laughs> ESPN, Men's Health, and Esquire. Uh, I have Sports cool. Illustrated, Highlights, and DuPont Registry. And Nikki has Game Informer, GQ, and Rolling Stone. Those are, I mean, pretty solid picks. Pretty solid picks. Obviously, it's going to depend on who's voting. Lynch in the chat says Nikki with the win. What? Yeah, that's it. I don't know. That's what he says. And some Blake just said hey, yes in all caps. I didn't pay attention to see what that was about, but I would imagine maybe it's Rolling Stone. I don't know. We'll Stay see. Uh, all right. Okay. Obviously that we okay. We're first. We're through the first two. We've through Gatorade flavors. We're through magazines. This is what it's all about. This is the category that Justin Mages is here for. He wanted it. We got it. This is going to hurt, bro. Oh. Basketball movies. I'm going to be missing so many There's going to be movies. some throat-cutting actions right here, and I'm so excited. Yeah. Nikki, you actually have the first pick in the draft. That, I, I can't take the first pick. Trade I, out. I, like, trade out. Trade, trade, trade out with me. I'll take me it. it. Maybe Let you can get, get some cash considerations. Let me get would, you it. Like third? would you like third? Third E dollars. Oh, oh. Would you pay $30 for this fictional game? <laughs> <laughs> Call my agent. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh boy. All right, Nick, okay, you okay, have okay, to make okay. a choice. It's gonna hurt you, obviously. But I want to hear There's the explanation. So Walk There's me so through many. your process of how you're making this pick. I'm thinking like basketball it has to be the foundation of it. Like, I, I, there's some movies like I had to eliminate from this list because they're like they played basketball, but was they the basketball movie? I don't know. Right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Lynch earlier today was asking if Eight Crazy Nights was a basketball movie. <laughs> I said <laughs> no. No. That's not even yeah. close. Uh, you know, I mean, it's so, just a little basketball. But go. This one has basketball. It's got drama. And one of my favorite actors of all time, he got game. Oh. Denzel Washington and your boy Ray Allen. So is hey, that what game. you're picking? Huh? Is that what you're picking? He got game, yeah. Okay, because you said number it. One. Number one. That's a good one. That one has it all. Jesus shows it. The Thoid. <laughs> the Thoid. Jesus it's Shuttlesworth the is a goat, a.k.a. Ray that Allen. That is... Heck is, yeah. I love that movie so much. Okay. Okay. 
See, now you got me messed up because I wasn't oh, going to pick shoot. that, but I was hoping you'd pick one of the two that I wanted to pick so you'd make it a little easier on me, and you didn't because no. you suck. <laughs> I, feel like I, I feel like I win, though, you know. I know for a fact if I don't pick this, it won't be there, but I also know for a fact if I don't pick the other one, it won't be there. <laughs> That's why I'm torn. You have to choose one so I can watch your defeat when someone takes your other choice. Who's one? I'm just going to take what I've probably watched more and meant more to me, specifically as a youngster. Oh, I'm taking Space Jam. I'm taking Space Jam. Hey, respect. That movie has molded everybody. I get that movie. It's a classic. Yo, Reggie, how many times did we watch that movie like on repeat? A thousand. Like well over a thousand. Like. We knew every word starting from the previews to the final song. Every Easy. word. It was Honestly, disgusting. funny story. I remember this like it was yesterday. Space Jam was the first movie we ever got. Yeah. Remember, mom pulled up what? in the car with the, this first, the first TV we ever had, actually, yeah. too. Yeah. We didn't ever, never Damn. had TV. She pulled up to the elementary school with the TV and Space Jam in the back of the car. We went freaking nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so exciting. We watched Space Jam. For on repeat that's uh, not hey, that's why the first the first movie story. the first movie i was ever allowed to like go to blockbuster and rent and pick i picked good burger and i watched wow. the shit out of that movie <laughs> <laughs> i've never i've never once gotten your gotten my money's worth as much as i did on anything in my life as i did <laughs> in good burger vhs for that one week rental okay anyway sorry that got me really inspired uh okay space jam is my pick Vince, you're up. I, I, there's still some gems left. I don't. You're not devastated by what's off the board, are you? I mean, I mean, Nikki did take my first pick, but it's okay. Right, I can bounce right. back. I can bounce back. That's good. Oh, this you is uh, this is one of these movies I used to watch with my dad growing up all the time. Okay. And um, so you know, it started an inspiration of playing basketball at the beach. So oh, if he picks biscuit. my movie, if he picks my movie. Get I'm picking white men can't jump. No. Okay. Okay. White men can't jump is so good. That is a very good movie. Such a classic. Oh, mm. man. Mm. That's, a, that's a tough one off the board. It's a, uh, only a few, not a few. I probably have about six of these movies in my movie collection. That's definitely one of them, but that's a damn good oh, movie. Yeah. It's a classic for sure. That's a great one. It's a great uh, one. Reggie, how are you feeling right now? You a little rattled? Or? I'm shook because. <laughs> At least two of my movies are gone. So okay, <laughs> all right. So you you're up Just, now. Oh man, you got, you're up now. You have to make some tough choices. I'm gonna pick a movie. It's not a high quality movie, but it's like a good movie. Like when you're a kid, and I remember watching some theaters. I think Nikki, we're in Arkansas when we watched this movie. Like Mike. Ooh, <laughs> all right. Remember yeah, like that was Mike? a really good movie. It was well like done. Mike, that was a good movie. Like the Mike shoes and the good. wire. Yo, that made kids everywhere believe that they could pull yeah. something like that off. Like that was yeah. crazy. And yeah. I really thought like Michael Jordan would show up in the movie at some point. He never did, but yeah. Bow Wow though. Yeah, Bow Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Mike, if I could be like. Now that's a good. He, that's he dunked that's... on like what Vince Carter, didn't he? He dunked he on something. everybody. What do you mean? But yeah, I think he did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did something. Yeah, yeah, that movie, uh, it's literally everybody's daydream who was just playing basketball as a kid. They're like, what, what if I could just make it? Mm -hmm. Just put on Michael Jordan's shoes and you're good to go. Good to go. All right, Mages, your category, your pick. You have two in a row right now. Some heavy hitters are off the board. I hope we took all yours. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, only had four, you only had four on the list. He was just like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to leave. No, um, you guys pick a lot of them, but uh, I'm going to go with uh, – Coach Carter, you know. God Ooh. dang, that was I was gonna pick I that one too. I knew it. I knew it. I was picking it at two, that you is. son of a bee. No, I would have definitely said he got game, but that was already off. So that's a good one though. That's a solid all right, all right. Coach Carter's good. That Everyone loves Coach Carter. Coach Carter's good. You said that like in the like most passive discussion. No, no, no. Like, like, it's good, but it's not like top three of my favorite basketball movies. Okay, yeah, that's sure. fair. But I think I think it doesn't get enough credit. I think it I think it, it deserves doesn't. more credit. It's a good ass movie. Sam L kills that movie. That's yeah, for sure. All right, next one. You got one more pick. All right, next one. I'm gonna go with just like I used to watch this when I was little, and I'll just, I'll just I'll make smoothies and just make it all. And I watch all the time. But, but uh, I'll definitely go with uh, Rebound with Martin Lawrence. Rebound. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there you go. <laughs> funny. That's funny. Uh... <laughs> Took it. I think I've seen that. That's funny though. That yeah, him like he's like coaching these kids. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's. Pretty funny. 
That's a good one for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Reggie, you have like Mike in the first round. Where would you like to go next, sir? I'm going to go with a documentary. Oh, no. What? Uh, you can do that? I know exactly what he's going to pick. I know exactly what he's about to pick. A documentary is fair game? I guess. It, it, I mean, it's sort of a documentary. Sounds, I was looking for a movie. But yeah, I guess it's that a is movie. Document. It's a movie. You put it, it, it's a movie. It's, it's a movie. It's got <laughs> actors and things happening, but it's also you a documentary. You know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking I'm about. I'm Lewis movie. It happened around the year 2011, 2012. Oh, wait, never mind. Wrong, wrong movie. Never mind. Oh, back The out. greatest New York Nick player of all time, Lynn Sanity. Oh, Let's go. Oh. All right. Lynn Sanity. Let me hand you the L. <laughs> have you seen Lynn Sanity? Have you seen it? I watched First it live and in cucumber. person. I didn't have to watch it a second time around. I have YouTube. It was the greatest month in New York Nick basketball history. Lynn Sanity, shout out to my boy Jeremy on. Lynn. Hey, wow, keeping it real. I'm keep happy. Real. I realized you guys keeping had Patrick real. Ewing at one point, right? No, <laughs> no, but they had Jeremy Lynn. <laughs> Lynn Sanity, I trust. Reddy's my just God. like throwing these choices away. Yeah, I Lynn feel Sanity's, like you could have waited right? on that. Did you wait? Did you honestly think that was gonna come? That wasn't gonna get back to you, or what? No, I'm I'm looking all at right. my list, and there's not not that. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the he's all the way down in the documentary section already. Uh, oh my god, who's got took? He got game. Oh, there's what so many more. Jump? There's so many more there good really ones. Is. You're gonna kick yourself when you hear. I think no, no. I think he's, oh, he's okay. gonna get his real number one pick though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vince, yeah, eventually, yeah. I know exactly. <laughs> white men can't jump. All right. So You've this is next a pick. Disney movie. And, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a Disney. dog. It's a dog movie. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but anyways, it definitely told a bunch of life lessons and uh, oh, talked about oh. culture. Okay, I know. Um, I'm gonna go with Glory Road. Glory Road. That's okay. a good one. Glory Road. All right, Glory Road. That's a powerful ass movie. All right, you need to watch it if you haven't. That's a good movie. It's a good Thank movie. You. It's a good movie. <laughs> Reggie, I love. I would love to hear Reggie review any movie ever. <laughs> just, just point like at Glory a movie Road. so you can I love come Glory out. Road, but it's just like, come on. Come on, it's just what? different volume for him. Damn. <laughs> He's like, that's not slapstick comedy. I don't uh, I don't know how to <laughs> receive this. Uh, okay. All right. You guys have made some picks. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna pick it right now because I don't think it'll be there on the way back because Nikki's a little little sleaze ball. Oh. It's got Will Ferrell in it. Damn! Oh my god. <laughs> that was my semi pro. <laughs> oh my semi pro is so funny. Uh, that was yeah. good. Actually, I watched that like a month ago for the first time. For the first time, I didn't oh. finish it either. I was hoping it was just gonna slip right past. No, it was good though. It's so funny. Yeah. God, why, didn't, the why didn't you finish it? Because yeah, my internet you... went out, and then oh. I was too lazy to like restart everything. How dare oh. you? You need to finish that movie, man. It's uh, it's it's so stupid. It's funny, and you. I think you're. I think you would love it. Sexy. I really do. I'm sexy. <laughs> All right, Nikki. Sorry in advance. That's, I didn't mean to. Um, all the wind out of my sails. Yeah, so you got he got game though, so that's cool. Yeah, you got two more back to back. Would, right. You want you want Reggie to text you the documentary list? Well, no, no, I I, I got <laughs> the, my third pick is going to be a documentary that, that I watched on so many times. <clears throat> Blake's never wait. Blake's never seen Semi Pro. Blake, get the hell out of here. Hey. Uh, anyway, boom. He's also the type to show up to end, to Avengers Endgame. Ask who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, that's fair. <laughs> what, whatever, whatever. Not bragging. Whatever. All right, all right. Go ahead. So my number two pick is a movie I haven't. I said I haven't seen yet, but I really, 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 really want. Sound to. went out. Huh? Did it? No, oh, it didn't. Couldn't, oh, I couldn't hear you for a second. That's, your, that's your internet, pal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a movie I really, really want to see. The trailer looks awesome, and it's all around a basketball movie. Space Uncle Jam Drew. Two. Oh, Uncle, Uncle Drew. Drew. Uncle, Uncle Drew, Drew, yeah. Uncle Drew. It's all I really What's weird about that movie? Movie? I've never seen. I've, I've, about that movie? I've never got around to seeing it. It's just, I, I don't know. That's the thing is like, I, that came out I in theaters it. and I was like, I, you know, I'd go see that. And then it came out on, on, on Redbox and I was like, you yeah. know, we should watch this sometime. Mm -hmm. And it's like the most, I, I'm never going to watch it. I've just, I've just come to the conclusion that it's just never going to happen for me. Especially right, after right. that Kyrie Boston season. Has huh? it, yeah, no, no, obviously, <laughs> obviously that, uh, that's a Nah, it was good. Um, I, but I'd as far as pure it. basketball, that's just a, a, an awesome movie. And just like, I don't know, it's, you know. I think it was probably just, the, the Pepsi commercials are better than the movie, if I were to guess. It's got a lot of, like, <laughs> legends in it. And it, I, I, would, I, I think it would be fun to watch just because if you're passionate about basketball and you know basketball players, it's just going to be fun to just watch them try to act. I've, yeah, I've watched it. And of good. itself, it's, it's spawned a lot of, like, spoof videos on, like, YouTube. You see, like, 
D one college players going up to the to the beach dressed up like yeah. a old man or yeah. something bummy or something. And yeah. you start balling them. It's a it's a great concept and it's a good well. You know done what movie. what commercial really deserved a movie? The LeBron and Kobe. The puppets. LeBrons? Yeah. LeBron yeah. and Kobe puppets needed a damn movie. Yeah. And That's it, true. Who knows? the they LeBrons should... was good too when he was like a young oh, kid. The oh, LeBrons was yeah. good too. I yeah. LeBrons was good. They need to bring that back. Heck yeah. Yeah. Come on, LeBron. It's, it's, it's a little over now. It's over. It's bad now. Is it? Like Imagine if he did it ago. like on his on his last ride. Like he's like, <laughs> last year, he's got grays or maybe even <laughs> no hair at all. His hairline just <laughs> the back of his neck now. Who knows? Back of his neck. <laughs> all cool. right. All cool. right. You got He got game in Uncle Drew. Last pick to. Uh, uh, my last pick is a documentary-ish sort of thing, but it's got actors in it. And it's, there's like a story behind it, but it's got a lot of footage as well. Please tell so me you more. think I was talking about? Tell me more about whatever I, I, this it's is. It's what I thought you were talking about, but it's not. It's Michael Jordan's Playground. Michael Jordan's Playground? I don't think it's a documentary. It sounds like a kid's I, show. Is it? I don't know what it is. It's like, Saturday it's morning like cartoon. Michael Jordan like highlights and like a, it's like. No, I remember we, I had, we had it at, at the house. I watched it. Yeah. Seriously, I watched it hundreds of hundreds of times. Yeah, Easy. that's what I'm saying. Michael so it's Michael it's Jordan's Playground. Yeah, yeah. It it was like the first three championships, I think. Maybe even the first two, something like. Or, that. Like it went over his first two championships, talking about Michael Jordan, and like. I don't even know what to say about this. Like, I, know, I haven't, the movie. haven't heard about it's a good it. Good movie. Yeah, it's a, good movie. Um, it's a hardwood classic, apparently. So that's. It's cool. a nineties it movie. It's a nineties. It movie. is. It's nineties. Okay. It's good times and it's Michael Jordan's playground. I just don't know how you can mm-hmm. come into this, and think you're gonna pick a, a Lin Sanity documentary. Or insanity. just a documentary in general and think you're going to No, compete. honestly, you, if you watch The Insanity, you get chills watching that movie, yo. It's crazy. I've seen the YouTube clips. I don't need to go. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm back. I'm wrapping Dang. my squad up. I feel like Vince might be pissed if it's on his list. If it's not on his list, shame on him. But it's... Don't do it. It's it's maybe one of the greatest love stories ever told. All oh, right. boy. Love oh, taking boy. love in basketball. <laughs> love in oh basketball. Gosh. It's beautiful. I don't know. I, ah! I, I, I'm just saying. If it's listen, love in basketball. It's not the traditional like. All right, boys, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna win the championship. It's yep. there's like real. I don't know. There's there's ramifications to actions and and how it pertains to a relationship. You know. Who knows? Yeah. We all thought we might have gone pro at one point, and maybe we had a lady friend at the time. Oh. Was she going to come with? I don't know. Uh, we got to go our separate ways. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Anyway. They both? Oh, that's the one with what's his name? Yeah. Uh, Tay Diggs? Is it Omar Tay Epps? No, who is it? No, no Mike Epps. No. Omar Epps. No. Omar Epps. With the eyes? <laughs> oh, my God. It looks, it, looks like, it looks like Mike Tomlin. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Omar Epps. Omar Epps. Omar, yeah. Epps. Omar Epps. Mike Tomlin's doppelganger. Mike Tomlin. Am I wrong? No, he's got some strong eyes. <laughs> he's Mike Tomlin's Jesus, twin. He's losing his cap. Way to go. No uh, cap. No cap. He's Mike Tomlin's <laughs> doppelganger. All right. All right. Vince. Vince, all right. you got white men can't jump and glory. <laughs> no, the eyes, he says. Yeah. White men can't right? jump and glory. I'm not even going to talk to it. I'm not even going to talk to it. All right. All right. So um, this is a fairly newer movie, kind of, sort of. Um, but I'm gonna have to go with my doppelganger, uh, Common, and oh. his movie Just Right. Jeez, oh, Queen Latifah, <laughs> Queen Latifah bags an NBA player. All right, yeah. yes. talk about bad. fiction. Am I right? Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, all right, wow, just right. I've seen that movie though. It's you know, it's it's good. It's a, it's not it's bad. a romantic basketball yeah, comedy. Ready movie still on the board. Oh my god. Well, mine? Reggie's movie's mm-hmm. still on the board? What do you mean? The one, the one Reggie wants to pick, I know. Does Do he want me? He really wants you to text, <laughs> text him the thing. All right, Reggie, you're up. Wrap your squad up. Please make it um, another Journeyman uh, documentary. I don't know if I can do this. Um, am I allowed to do this? Let me know. I'm going to go with the greatest sports basketball documentary in the history of basketball, The Last Dance. Da-na-na, na-na-na. That's like an episodic series. Am I allowed series. to do that? It's a movie. Okay. It's a documentary. It's a ten part, not, ten hour, it's ten, ten hour, hour movie. Hour movie? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a series. I think. I think. Can that's, I do that? I don't. I don't think. That. That's, that's that. not a no. no. If it was like a one hour, one and a half hour documentary of it all, it's crammed ten together. one hour no. movie. I disagree. It's a series. Uh, we had his own personal MCU. Get out of here. Wait ten weeks. No, five weeks. It was five weeks. Right. We had to wait for. All right, my alternate plan. I'm gonna go. That's how math works. Blake says. I'm gonna go with. It's not a show. Even though, a, Le- even though Jordan is the GOAT, I'm going to go with a LeBron movie because it's a good inspiration movie. And it set up one of the best Drake songs of all time. 
I forget what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, the movie, <laughs> more than a game, yeah. LeBron James. Okay. And a key, yeah, uh, forever. And a da, 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 Words, da, please. Da, 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 what is happening? I'm looking to more than a game. I'm going to have to You never seen more than a game, Doyle? No. Yeah, Doyle's never seen oh! more than a game? Okay. No, I've seen this. I've seen this. Yeah. It's a good movie. The incredible yeah. true story of LeBron James and the Akron <laughs> Fab Five. Yeah. Oh, LeBron. LeBron. LeBron a film by Christopher Bellman. LeBron James. Yeah, no, I've seen bits and pieces of this, and uh, yeah, it's a documentary. Thank you. Uh, sure, that's yours. You can have it. I wrote it. Wow, sure. Sure. Uh, I just think when, when I put the movie poster up, people are just going to see LeBron James in high school dunking. I guess... Like how many people realistically you think saw that? Or no, no, more, more realistically, Lynn Sanity. Let me Lynn be Sanity real. is on Netflix. Everyone should watch that. Is it really? Let me be real. Yeah, so. I'm a LeBron James stan. Like, huge yeah. LeBron fan. But I probably watched half that movie. That's good. It, it is what it is. Look at Nikki. Nikki just upset. Watch Lynn Sanity. I'm, That's my number, my number two pick for a reason. Lynn number Sanity. two. All right, well, he Mages. does at Harvard? <laughs> Mages. You have Coach Carter. You have Rebound featuring Martin Lawrence. <laughs> and you have one more pick. And apparently a plethora of documentaries that have ever existed. Uh, since like quite a bit of you picked some docs, I'm uh, I'm going to go with Through the Fire because I always Ooh. watch He did it. I've always loved that. Old Sabby <laughs> Telfair. That's actually a good movie. It's a good movie, too. Sebastian Telfair, Through the Fire, my probably one of my favorite basketball documentaries. Dude. Plus, I, I, mo- the so one I watch the most. Definitely more than Lynn Sanity. Um, it's <laughs> Lynn Sanity's a good movie. Go watch it. All right. I'm all probably right. never going to see it. I mean, but the thing is, I watched him play when it happened. What, yeah, what else yeah. am I going to get out of it? It's a, Exactly. They'll show, it goes into it a lot more. What, the whole struggle. Like, tweet? It goes from him and Harvard, balling out in Harvard. Then it goes from him being like an undrafted player and like his struggle to even make the roster and then how that plays into like the first day when he blows up and it's, it's so crazy because he's like sleeping on his friend's couch. He's about to get cut the, the day before. And this is literally his last chance to make the team where he gets cut. Okay. And then he goes out and balls out and then the rest yeah, is history. It's so good. It's so mm-hmm. good. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> Jesus. The fact that there were storylines in that, yeah. Uh, okay, basketball movies, we just obviously wrapped it up. But here, does anybody have any on their list that went undrafted? Obviously, Reggie, you can just put your list away. Uh, what do you mean? Any any good movies that didn't go drafted? Well, I have, I'm surprised that you didn't go with Joanna Man. Joanna Man, yeah. I thought Juana was for Man. sure. That's a it's a it's a funny movie. Yeah. Lots of people have so seen funny. it. It's on Netflix right now. Honestly, about, I don't think I don't think it would fly today though. Probably not. Probably it's not. On Netflix. But what about it's Team on Wolf? Netflix. Team Wolf, Wolf. Oh. was on my list. It's a basketball mm, movie. I was willing to fight movie. about it if I had to. <laughs> but luckily, <laughs> lots of documentaries got picked. Is, is this movie uh, a basketball movie? Uh, Seventeen again with Zac Efron. I, you know what? Well, I've never seen it. I've seen it. It it could be. He doesn't he end it on the basketball court. If the movie yeah. ends on a basketball court, that's that was my justification for Teen Wolf. The movie ended on basketball court. It's a basketball <laughs> yeah. movie. All what? right, that's that's Teen Wolf definitely. How about Airbud? Very, very vague. High School Musical I'll... might have made it. Like <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, it could have happened. Uh, the what about fact, Air Bud? Yeah, the fact Air Bud didn't get picked right? makes me sad because that would have that would have gotten a lot of votes. I'm just saying, Air Bud would have done it. Um, oh. I mean, I don't know. Like Mike gave kids hope, but what exactly did Air Bud do besides <laughs> make him like a doggy can't play basketball? That's not so good. Listen, a doggy. Listen, come on. Dozens of dogs out there. All right, that look out the window and watch kids play in the driveway. Needed yeah. that movie. All right, mm. they needed just, it to know that there was a path. want to snap one of those little whippersnappers Achilles tendons. That's all they're looking for. Get out of here. Hey, listen, some dogs wow. are good, okay? Some dogs are bad. Damn. Mike Vick doesn't care. Uh, oh. All right. Anyway, wow. uh, oh. Jimmy in the chat says, I was Nikki hoping shook. somebody would pick Hurricane Season. Never heard of it. Or Hoosiers. Hoosiers was Hoosier, a basketball I tried to watch Hoosiers. It's so boring. It, yeah. Yes. Mm, yeah. Sorry, Jimmy. Not, kind of not, dry. Uh, Blake says, "What about the movie with Kevin Durant?" Uh, no. Thunderstruck. Did we discuss that? And no, it's gonna be a hard. I can't. You know what's what's crazy to me is Kevin Durant is such a uh, like a high profile NBA player. That movie came and went without a peep. And like, like, like I I was looking it up and I was like, oh yeah, that was a thing that happened and nobody cared. Literally yeah, no. nobody cared. If it was LeBron. Mm-hmm. It would have been the highest-grossing NBA movie ever. 
But Kevin Durant tries to make a movie. I don't know. It's just sad. Are you, Nikki? Are you even are you just looking it up right oh, now? There's there's another there's another movie. I'm just I'm just now remembering. I'm trying to remember. Like I think was name Darius Miles was in it or whatever. But there was like what? some other movie. Are you talking about the one in the hood? I don't remember the title. That's all I'm saying. I've got. To, I'm trying is to look it, it up. Six, right now. Is, is it six, man? Is it above the rim? There was a Darius above Miles the rim movie. too. Was really I don't remember. good. Above the rim. It might be above the rim. Uh, I I have to say it because uh, my wife thinks it's a basketball movie. I have not seen it, but it's on Disney Plus, and she's going to make me watch it probably after this show. The Luck of the Irish Disney movie. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but apparently mm-hmm. it's about some dude that has to fight a leprechaun and play basketball against him. So. That sounds terrible. It the sounds like score. a gem. It sounds like a gem. Wow. Uh, speaking of leprechauns and speaking of Celtics players, because we're all talking about them, uh, Celtic Pride. <laughs> Have you seen Celtic Pride? No. It's got Damon Wayans yet. in it. BRB, hold on. Oh, okay. See you later, pal. Uh, it's got Damon Wayans in it. It's got the dude from um, the curly-haired dude from Home Alone who gets freaking electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They kidnap Damon Wayans. So he can't play a basketball game. He plays for the Utah Jazz, and they're playing the Celtics in the finals, and they legitimately kidnap him because he's a star player of the Jazz. And it's it's pretty funny. I have that in my collection too, but nobody knows that's a movie. But anyway. They should have just gave him bad pizza. Well, I, oh, <laughs> damn. All right. Actually, I think they made it. They might have made a reference to that in that movie. But anyway, really? it was a funny movie. It was pretty funny. Um, what about Blue Chips with Shaq? Is that a movie? Yeah, you have never seen that? No. I've seen I've seen Kazam or is it Shazam? It's yeah, Kazam. 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 That's not a basketball yeah. movie though. No, that's Blue just Chips. Shaq in a movie. Blue Chips is talking about UCLA and all that stuff. Back. Okay. Welcome back. Speaking of Blue Chips, I watched Blue Chips. <laughs> Wasn't that good? Wow. Another rousing review from Reggie. All Thank right. you. It's overrated. It was overrated. Okay, so that wraps up the episode. Obviously, we had we did Gatorade, we did magazines, we did basketball movies. You can check it out at the Chunk Pod. Uh Mages, you want to give a shout out to your social media handles. You have like 16 and like 900,000 followers. So just let everybody know. We are not worthy. Uh, Instagram is uh jam underscore slam, you know. I just pretty much post like basketball mixtapes and all that. So. All right, all right. So if you're a fan Heck of yeah. the basketball movies and or just basketball players in general, give them a follow. Check them out. I'll put them in the description. Uh, I'll put it in the description, your little tag here. Um, and a little tag here. That was the most condescending thing I've ever said. Your little Instagram yeah. tag. I'll put it in I'll the I'll give you a little tag. They don't say I never did nothing for you. Yeah. You <laughs> me. Uh, no, okay. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna obviously we're going to post that up. The graphics will be posted throughout the week. Um, well, through the, uh, through the weekend and into next week. But we'll obviously in episode 11 do the recap. Uh, Mages, thank you for stopping by. Obviously, everybody else. Uh, any parting words? Anything uh, on your mind? You, you guys, you all right? Uh, vote for me, 2020. Okay, all right. Vote for you. I'm going Joe Exotic, 2020. Joe Exotic, yeah. you going to write in? Waste your vote? I love it. Let's do it. You're dang right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you win nothing with that cucumber gate, right? I'll tell you that. Mm, damn. Uh, cucumber lime. Cucumber lime. Get it right. All right. Not at the Chunk Pod. By the way, if you're still here, thank you. I don't know why you're still here, but we appreciate you. The Drafters Live. Uh, this is the Chunk <laughs> YouTube channel. Uh, give it a subscribe and a follow. That'd be fantastic. Follow. Do little bell notifications. And uh, I guess we'll just... Get the hell out of here with some music again. This is just when we do nothing and leave. Are we missing anything? I feel like we're missing something. No one picked Juana Man. No one picked Juana Juana Man. Man. You should have picked Juana Man. That was your fault. Watch it on Netflix now. No, I'm not going to lie, though. Lynn Sanity is a really good movie. Okay, we're done here. We'll watch it. That's another segment you lost because you threw this 